Let's say that you've recorded some MIDI, but your timing is a little bit off. Now, there are times when imperfect timing is desirable. Slightly late or early notes, they can contribute to the feel of a part, and sometimes perfectly timed parts can seem robotic or soulless. However, there are times when perfect timing is exactly what's required for a piece. In those situations, you can quantize your notes. Quantization is a tool that automatically snaps MIDI notes to the nearest point on a grid of your choice. There are two different ways to quantize MIDI notes in Logic, each with some advantages and disadvantages. Firstly, you can quantize all the notes in a region using the region inspector. Just select the region in the arrange area and then choose a timing to snap to. There's a pretty long list here, starting with straight values all the way from 96th notes to a single bar at the top. So a 1-1 one, one means that notes, all the notes will snap to the start of a bar. The values you'll probably use most if you're working in 4-4 four, four time are 8th notes, 12th notes, 16th and 24th. The 8th and 16th notes will give you a straight feel, while the 12th and 24th notes will give you triplet time. There are also a number of swing values for 8th and 16th notes. These progress from A to F, A being only a little swing and F being a heavy swing feel. And there are some more esoteric values at the top here too. If you prefer to dial in your swing exactly, you can choose a straight feel, like say 16th notes, and then use the Q swing parameter to dial in your swing as a percentage. So notice that as soon as I selected 16th notes, all my notes snapped to the grid. And I can dial in swing using the Q swing value. So as you can see, the swing parameter actually um, delays every other note. The advantages to using the region inspector are threefold. Firstly, you can quickly and easily quantize all the notes in a region to the same value. Secondly, quantizing this way is non-destructive. If I turn off the quantize, the notes return back exactly to how I played them, and I won't lose the timing of my original performance if I want to go back to it. Thirdly, quantizing in this way gives me some advanced options. You can see these by opening up the advanced quantization panel here. I'm not going to go into detail on all of these, um, as some of them are fairly advanced as the name suggests. However, I just want to point out my favorite one, Q strength. This allows you to tell Logic how strongly to quantize your notes. So if I quantize again to 16th notes and then pull down the Q strength value, you can see that my quantized notes are gradually returning to their original unquantized positions. So the higher the Q strength, the closer your notes get to the perfectly timed grid that you set in the quantize menu. For me this is great because it allows me to retain as much or as little of the feel of my original performance as I want. If I want more feel, I dial back the Q strength, or if I want my notes more tightly gridded, I can pull it up. That's a real godsend for a bad player like me, and it means I can retain a little bit of soul in my music while keeping it tidy and tight. You can also quantize notes selectively from within the piano roll. If you prefer not to quantize all of the notes in your performance, then this is where you can pick and choose which notes are quantized. Just select a quantize value from the drop-down, then select the notes you'd like to quantize, and hit Q, or use the Q button up here. Now we're quantized to a swung 16th feel, only on these notes. You can undo the quantization of any notes by selecting them, then choosing Off. 
from the piano roll. However, unfortunately you can't use cue strength or any other advanced quantization tools when you're quantizing from within the piano roll. So using the techniques I've just described, you can quickly and fairly painlessly whip your MIDI regions into rhythmic shape.